Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to start another video and this one here is something new. We're going to spread this car here in Raptor Liner. This is going to be the first car in our country here in Guyana, that's in South America, that's going to have the Raptor Liner. It's going to be in safety blue. So stay tuned for this video and you're going to see how this is going to turn from this into Raptor Liner. some sanding with 150 grit sandpaper to really get the paint scuffed <laughs> which of course it's the tintable version so this here you can mix with any color that you want as long as it's urethane based so this is the color that we're going to be using this is the safety blue from custom shop and kind of similar color to match the car itself just a different shade of blue we of course we have the hardener which has to be mixed with the Raptor liner. If you can look here, there's a line. When you look from inside, you can see it very clear, but the line here, you fill the hardener up to this line here. And then of course we have our custom coat, bed liner gun. This here is what we're gonna be used to apply the Raptor liner to the car. And we did bought a reducer just in case the texture is not what we want, it's too thick. We're gonna reduce it a bit so it's gonna be a more finer texture because we don't want it to be too thick you know like like a like a bed liner itself like a heavy duty drop we want to be like nice and smooth but we still want to maintain the bed liner look so at this point we already did all the body work that needed to be done you know the minor dents and dicks that needed to be filled it was sanded and then primed one thing i must know that you must prime every exposed metal spot on the car because the wrapper liner cannot be applied to direct metal because it will rust now the filler that we used was the u-pole plus x it's the same company that makes the wrapper the u-pole brand after all the body work has been completed we then moved ahead and primed the car now this video was not made by me it was actually done during the COVID-19 pandemic and I couldn't be there so the guy there he did a little video recording on it so sorry about the quality it's a little bit bad
please do consider subscribing to my channel i will be very much pleased and also you can like the video if you do share it with your friends if you feel like and you guys have a great day take care god bless you all